there, thanks for joining me today. This is our final week dealing with the subject of offense, and I believe that you've been blessed. I pray that you've been blessed watching them. If you haven't watched the other shows, you can catch up and watch them. But today I wanna to talk about daily taking no account of a wrong done. You know, every day, if you're around people, you have the opportunity to be offended. So being offended and walking in love is a choice that we have to make every single day of our lives. Have you ever been around someone and they were kind of rude to you, a little snotty to you, and you thought, you know, next time you see them, you kind of give them the cold shoulder because you remember how they treated you before? Well, that's just a little offense. That's a little thing. But it's just little traps to get you to be offended and not walk in love. But listen to what Paul says about walking in love. He says in 1 Corinthians 13, 5, Love, God's love in us, is not touchy or fretful or resentful, and it takes no account of the evil done to it. It pays no attention to a suffered wrong. The Amplified says, keeps no record of being wronged. That is a pretty powerful statement that you can go through your life, the course of your day, and take no account of a wrong done to you. If you can get to that place, then you are learning to walk in love. If you're married and your spouse does something to you and hurts your feelings and, and you want to hold on to that offense, I challenge you to just say to yourself over and over, I take no account of a wrong done to me. If your boss or coworker has done you wrong at work, you say to yourself, I take no account of a wrong done to me. If you begin to say that and meditate on that, then believe that, then you can go through challenges in your life with people and you can come out on the other side and not be offended all the time, not walking around with chips on your shoulders because you have so much offense towards people. You just nip it in the bud as they say. The minute it happens, you say, nope, I take no account of a wrong done to me. Again, 1 Corinthians says, it pays no attention to a suffered wrong. Don't even pay attention to it. Just, just let it go. Take no account of a wrong done. Keep no record of it. Proverbs 10, 12 says, love covers all offenses. Love covers all, not some of them, but all offenses. You may have gone through a lot of things in your life, but the love of God can cover it. It can cover it. You don't have to condone it. You don't have to um, accept what someone's done to you as being okay, but you can cover it in the love of God and you can move on with your life so that you're not walking around with offense all the time. Um, there was a lady one time when my boys were little, Mark, James, and Preston, we would go in this convenience store and she worked there and she was just not a pleasant person. And we went there every day. And I, I mean, she was just a really rude person. She was not friendly at all. She would bark at you if you did something wrong and just not nice at all. So I told my boys, they were little and we got in the car and I said, you know what? We are gonna just love that lady. We are gonna be so nice to her that she's gonna fall in love with us. So every time we went in there, we just covered her in love. We were kind to her, we spoke compliments to her, we asked how her day was going, and we just covered the situation in love. Well, at first, she wasn't any different. She was just grouchy and mean, and she just didn't care you know, that we were being nice to her. So every day we went in there, we did the same thing over and over. Do you know that my boys and I, we won that lady over in love. She became our good friend. In fact, she had to work on Christmas Eve one year and my boys and I bought her a gift. We took it in there on Christmas and my boys sang to her. They serenaded her that night and she just loved them. She thought that was the neatest thing that someone cared about her. But if we had become offended, if I had been offended and let her ugliness come over on me, then I wouldn't share in the love of God with her. So I taught my boys a lesson in that. I taught myself a lesson in that is just cover offense in love. And you can see it transform people and change them if you can take no account of a wrong done. Now that's just a little situation. That's just a lady at a store that had an ugly attitude. 
but you can do this in every area of your life. If you've been abused, if your spouse has left you, if you lost your job and you don't understand why you were unfairly let go or whatever you've been through in your life and you're carrying that around with you, you can let it go today. You can pull up those weeds of bitterness and let it go once and for all and be everything God's called you to be and that's a life of freedom. It's a life of joy, a life of peace that He wants you to live in. But you can never go forward in life if you're always looking at the past and always dwelling on what someone did to you back in the day. It's time today to get free of it. And I just pray that these words that I'm speaking to you will get down in your spirit and that you just pull those weeds up. You know what it is. I'm talking about it right now and you know exactly what it is that you need to deal with and uproot. And maybe it's not your fault. Maybe you didn't do anything wrong, but you pull up those weeds of offense and forgive them. Forgive them and let it go. And I promise you, you're going to see a freedom in your life like you have never experienced before. I know that if you trust in God, trust in His faithfulness, trust in the Holy Spirit to help you do it when you can't do it, that you will see the results like you dream that you want in your life, a life of freedom, a life of joy. Thank you so much for joining me today. I trust that you were blessed by this message. Subscribe below. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And you can go to my website at jerryann.org. I hope to see you again real soon. Have a good day.